beauty is about capturing two or three lines which are just wonderful to look at. And in this car, there are just two lines. The line that sweeps up over the fender at the front and then just overlaps and picks up over the rear fender at the back, which drops off into the back end, which really culminates in a very three-dimensional shape. It's really the most exciting part of the car. You'll see these beautiful detailed tail lamps with the round one. They were in fact inspired by the original E-Type. Obviously we use all LED technology on the tail lamps these days to give us this uniquely defined signature element which becomes a very recognisable feature of F-Type. You can see it from 100 yards away like you can with the J-Blade daylight running lamps on the front. The front grille was a very brave thing for us to do. It's very strong, very powerful, a lot of street presence. <laughs> We use technology to help us deliver the design language on F-Type. Take for example the door handles. When you unlock the car, the door handle presents itself to you. So it's a good example of the car feeling alive and animated and actually extending its hand to greet you. On the rear we've got that lovely low tapered tail which is unique to this car. But of course you need the car to have good aerodynamic downforce. So we have a deploying rear spoiler that stabilises the car at speed but then folds flush with the surface and gives you a beautiful, low, elegant tail when it's not required. The details have to be exquisitely done because we don't have that much surface entertainment on the car. So in the case of the tailpipes, and they're stamped from a single piece of stainless steel, there are no seams anywhere that gives you something uniquely beautiful on the rear of the car. The interior cockpit needed to convey the speed and dynamics that the exterior conveys. The cockpit is split into two by this very dramatic grab handle. The architecture is very simple. We wanted to immediately create lines that were very longitudinal down the car, not, not horizontal. When you sit in the car, you need to feel very empowered, very engaged. To accentuate the driving feel, we've gone for two very deliberate, very large analogue instrument cluster clocks you really get that feel of high-end premium watches. F-Type dashboard is deliberately very low, so for example the vent is hidden away until you need it. The dynamic switch is very much inspired by fighter jet cockpits. The Jaguar shifter needed to look very fast and very sporty and when you actually engage gear you pull the trigger, you pull the shifter back, you get this real mechanical interaction between driver and machine. The first E-Type I saw was six years old. Little did I know then that I'd be part of the team that actually created the next one. If we wanted to create a timeless car, something's going to look great in 50 years' time as well as now. But that's about discipline, it's about purity, it's about authenticity. It's about being honest with yourself about every application of line and surface on the car. And it won't date.